Hi everyone. Today we are here to talk about the Experience Lights Pixel to DMX bridge. What this bridge will do is allow you to connect to your pixel string and daisy chain your DMX fixtures. So we have a X connect connector on one end and a three pin DMX connector on the other. And we can daisy chain our DMX props directly after a pixel string. So we'll connect the DMX bridge to our moving head. I have some pixels over here. So we will connect our 12 volt pixel string. I'm using Raywoo connectors for my pixels. The DMX bridge, D pixel to DMX bridge uses X connect. So I have a change over here. That is fine. And then the DMX connector can connect to the DMX fixture itself or a DMX extension cable. So I have my moving head set with DMX start address of one. I have it coming out of there and coming over to a fog machine. And I am using DMX address 75. This is just going to show you that you can skip channels with your DMX addresses. So we have moving head, 16 channels, starting at one. The next in line would be 17, but I am skipping and going over to 75. And then once we connect our fog machine with DMX, we can jump over to X lights and I will show you how to configure this. And then we'll also show you how to do any troubleshooting if yours is not working as expected. So over inside X lights, go ahead and click on your layout tab. Under the DMX model, select general and drag and drop. On the left side, change the name of DMX general to pixel to DMX, hit enter. Under the number of channels, set this at 512 and make sure that it saves. Sometimes x won't save that. So we can see it is now saved at 512. From here, go ahead and you can add any additional props that you may need. We are going to add our single line of pixels. I'm using 100, so I'll change that. This does not have to be a single line of pixels. It could be a tombstone, a candy cane, any pixel prop that you have. And then we can add our DMX devices I already have them created, so I'm going to import. So here is my moving head. Here is my fog machine. And then what we want to do is select the first DMX device in our chain. Come down here on the left side, find the controller tab. It should say no controller by default. Click on the drop down and change that to use start channel. Once it is set to use start channel, find where it says start channel. It should have a number in here and then click the three dots on the right side. Change the option from none to start of model and then select this little box and select your pixel to DMX device. And for this, we are setting the start channel of one. That is the DMX address for our moving head. Select your second DMX device if you have one. Come back down to controller, no controller, use start channel. Find start channel, this is set at two. Click the three dots, click start of model. Again, select pixel to DMX. This time, instead of channel one, we are setting 75 for the DMX address of 75. So go ahead and click on OK. And then you can see over here, our moving head is starting at channel two. Our fog machine is 76, which is obviously not correct. So what we do is come over to controller, click on your controller and click on visualize. I have the pixel to DMX daisy chained after my string of pixels on port one. So we'll drag our pixels over. We will drag our pixel to DMX over. 
and this pixel to DMX bridge can go on any port. So it could go here, it could go after pixels, it really doesn't matter. Just wherever you want to put this in your chain. And then you are not going to add your DMX fixtures or devices onto the visualizer. Just totally ignore them like they aren't even there. Go ahead and you can close this. Come back over to the layout tab and you can see moving head one has a DMX or a start address of 301. The fog machine is 375. That is translating from the pixel string using 0 to 300, three channels per pixel, 100 pixels. That's where we're getting that number. But those automatically updated by dragging the pixel to DMX device onto your visualizer. Select your pixel to DMX now that it is assigned to a controller. Scroll down and under controller connection, find the tab that says set brightness. Check that box and then make sure the brightness is set at 100%. This will override any settings that you may have, like set your controller to 30% brightness. DMX devices need to be at 100% or the channels and DMX data won't be correct. Also make a note, if you are using FPP brightness plugin, that you need to set that at 100% as well. So over here, we can upload that output to our controller. So now that we have this assigned to the controller, we can go ahead and come over to new sequence. We'll create an animation at 40 frames. Go ahead and say done. And we will drag a DMX effect onto our moving head. For this example, I'm just going to add a ramp value on pan from 0 to 86. That'll get the moving head to rotate from left to right to show you that it's working. We will add a DMX effect to our fog machine and turn on the outputs. And then I will grab a bars effect for our string of pixels. Update the cycle so it blinks a little faster. And now once we turn our output to lights on, we will see that our moving head starts to rotate, our pixels are lighting up, and then our fog machine kicks on. So let's go ahead and turn output to lights on and we'll start the animation. We can see our pixels are on, our moving head starts to rotate, and then our fog machine kicks on. So this is working as expected. But what happens if you run into an issue and it is not working as expected? Well, how can you troubleshoot this? One of the best troubleshooting steps that you have is trying to see what your pixels are doing because the pixel to DMX bridge is translating pixel data to DMX. So at channel 301, which is directly after your string of 100 pixels, if you set channel 1 to 255, that should essentially control the next pixel in your string to be red. So let's throw a pixel in line here. So now we have a pixel connected instead of our pixel to DMX. And so you can see this a little bit better. We are going to turn output to lights back on. We should see that our pixels are blinking. And they are. So let's turn those off. And then our next model is our moving head one. Channel one is the next pixel in line. So we are gonna take channel one, which happens to be color, and set that to 255. That should turn on our pixel to red, and it does. So it is working correctly. If we go to channel two, it should be green. It is. If we go to channel three, it should be blue, and it is. So the pixel to DMX bridge was getting the correct information sent from our controller. So it was working correctly, but if yours is not, 
the best thing to do is connect a pixel and make sure that the first three channels are responding correctly or as you would expect when you send the DMX data that way. So we hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message. We'll do our best to get you squared away. Thanks for choosing Experience Lights and have a great day.